the last video, the two finger swipe up, read all from the start of the page, or the two finger swipe down, read all from the selected item, we also saw the two finger single tap. Sometimes I call this gesture the shh gesture. His voiceover tends to be very chatty. Voiceover talks and talks and talks to you, which is a good thing most of the time, but sometimes I really don't wanna hear the whole thing. So I can use a two finger single tap. Again, my fingers are spread apart a little bit. My fingers are nice and relaxed, and I'm just gonna tap lightly the screen to pause or make the iPad shh. Now, with my older students, I often call this the viper. The viper gesture is the two fingers spread apart like it's the viper fangs, and you're gonna be like a viper and go shh or s if you wanna do the S sound instead, like a viper hissing at you. A viper is that snake that's going to pounce on you. So the viper is going to be the same thing as the sh gesture or the two finger single tap. This helps the kids remember, by giving it a name, it helps the kids remember that the viper is the be quiet or the sh gesture. Um, compared to the two finger double tap, which starts and plays music and videos and other things. The two finger single tap is going to pause voiceover speech. If you were doing a read all command and voiceover is going through all the items on your home screen, as an example, if you did a two finger viper, a two finger single tap, it would pause voiceover from talking. A two finger single tap again would start voiceover talking from wherever it was paused. Okay. 